Hello everyone. In this video, we'll talk about the effect of 2,3 bisphosphoglycerate, in short, 2,3 BPG, on binding of oxygen to hemoglobin and its role in delivery or unloading of oxygen at tissue level. Right. So, what is 2,3 BPG? 2,3 BPG is a product which is formed, or like you can say, it is an intermediate which is formed in mid of the glycolysis, especially in RBC. So we are all aware glycolysis inside the cell, in cytoplasm, glucose is oxidizing to pyruvate, okay, and pyruvate to acetyl-CoA, acetyl-CoA to TCA cycle and ATP generation is there. But cells like RBC, so what is the function, sole function of RBC? The sole function of RBC is gaseous exchange, transport of oxygen from lungs to tissues and transport of carbon dioxide from tissues to lungs, right. For that, the amount of energy or the ATP generated because of glycolysis is excess. That means there is wastage of energy. So to avoid that, there is a specific mechanism, okay, that is known as rapaport lubering cycle, okay, rapaport lubering cycle. So where that 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate uh, converted to 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate okay instead of directly converting into 3 phosphoglycerate because there is a production of atp by substrate level phosphorylation so what is substrate level phosphorylation the generation of atp at substrate level without the help of electron transport chain if atp is generated with the help of etc okay that is known as oxidative phosphorylation okay but here the atp is generated at substrate level okay within the pathway within the cycle so that's why it is known as substrate level phosphorylation so here the reduction in production of energy by producing 2,3 BPG especially in RBC so it's this product formation or this intermediate formation is not only in minimizing the ATP generation but also it has also got some valid point okay so as we mentioned the affinity of hemoglobin is more towards hydrogen Ion, hydrogen ions and CO2 compared to hemo, uh, oxygen. Same way, 2,3 BPG, which is produced inside the cell, okay, it's like suppose in RBC, okay. So, the affinity of 2,3 BPG is more towards hemoglobin compared to oxygen. So, when there is a presence of 2,3 BPG, okay, so when hemoglobin comes in contact, I mean, comes near to the 2,3 BPG, if suppose oxygen and 2,3 BPG side by side, they are there, hemoglobin choose to bind to 2,3 BPG rather than to oxygen. So, it shows more affection, strong affinity towards 2,3 BPG rather than to oxygen. And this logic is mainly useful in unloading of oxygen at tissue level. Okay. The presence of BPG is significantly reduces the affinity of hemoglobin for oxygen. And this reduced affinity releases oxygen efficiently in peripheral tissue. That means unloading of oxygen at tissue level. So, one molecule of 2,3 BPG binds in central cavity of deoxyhemoglobin. So, in our previous videos, uh, like in structure of hemoglobin, we said four polypeptide chains like globin chains, two alpha, two beta chains are joined together and there is a central cavity. So, this central cavity is main useful because of this 2,3 BPG where this 2,3 BPG binds to central cavity of deoxyhemoglobin, uh, especially beta chain through ionic bonds. Okay. And these ionic bonds are formed between positively charged amino acids of beta chain with negatively charged phosphate groups of 2,3 BPG. So, there is strong ionic interactions. 2,3 BPG is negatively charged because of presence of phosphate groups and because of uh, presence of basic amino acids, they are positively charged. Okay, the globin chains, you know, histidine, okay, is a basic amino acid. Okay, so they are positively charged. In hemoglobin A, that means adult hemoglobin, the binding site is made up of 6 positive charges of amino acids of beta globin chains and 5 negative charges of phosphate groups of 2,3 BPG. So, diagrammatic representation you see here, the negative charges of 2,3 BPG, okay, and globin chain, these are the positive charges because of histidine, basic amino acids, especially, what are the basic amino acids, arginine, lysine, histidine. So, they are mainly present in globin chains and main part is histidine, okay. So, this way, ionic interactions okay the ionic interactions between positive and negatively charged substances so what is importance of 2,3 BPG 
without 23 bpg hemoglobin would be an extremely inefficient oxygen transporter why because the oxygen saturation curve of hemoglobin would approach that of myoglobin okay because of the presence of 23 bpg the shape of the curve is sigmoidal but in case of myoglobin which is a hyperbola okay because there is no cooperative binding that is one of the exception we have given okay here again when there is a chronic deprivation of oxygen in tissues the level of 23 bpg increases such compensatory increase occurs in when which conditions this 23 bpg concentration increases okay the people or the individuals who are living live at high attitudes okay patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases copd like emphysema anemias where defective rbcs are there okay and cardiac failure in these conditions there is increased production of 23 bpg which facilitates the more unloading of oxygen at tissue level so this is the importance of uh, 23 bpg in unloading of oxygen thanks for listening thank you